Professor Hall, welcome back. We're in week seven of English 123, College Composition Part 2. The big day is finally here. <laughs> week seven means that your projects are coming to a close. So the only thing you have this week is that revision. My number one recommendation is to get it in on time. It's worth about 10% of your grade. Um, and then next week you have a reflection paper that's worth about, I think, 8 or 9% of your grade. I've had a lot of students in the past who didn't get the revisions done because they were always a week behind and uh, they lost a lot of points and their grade went down like a full letter grade because of that. It's a huge problem. Don't fall into that trap. My second recommendation is to review my feedback on your essay uh, from weeks from the previous weeks and also the information you got from your peers right in your reflection what what did they think what did you think what information did they give you when you guys did peer review all of that um, again there are sample papers if you really have a lot of revisions to make there's also information on crafting your argument and citing your sources in those in that library guide for our course and finally Again, understand the rubric. The paper is supposed to be five to seven pages long, plus that reference page. You need to have an overview of the debate in the introduction. And in your introduction, also have a thesis statement. This should take a side of the issue. Um, and uh, sometimes in the past, I've had people just explain why they chose the topic or how it relates to their field. That was something we did in the first project when you're planning things. At this stage, you should be past that. You should just be making your argument. Then, um, multiple paragraphs in your essay, building your argument in a logical way, using transitions to smoothly tr move from one idea to the next in between paragraphs, having cohesion, meaning it sticks together. It forms one argument that kind of builds upon itself. Four, integrating research, having proper attribution um, to authors using paraphrases, summaries, short quotations, and every body paragraph to support your argument and prove your points. Um, five, citing that research. Six, providing a full refutation. So what's the opposing viewpoint? What's the other side say? And then explain kind of why they're incorrect, misinformed, wrong, however you want to put it, um, arguing gently and delicately against them. Seven, a conclusion that summarizes the main points of the essay, restates the thesis, and somehow relates the audience. That could be something like a call to action, um, or it could be just a restatement of your thesis. New language, not new ideas. And then lastly, a work cited or a reference page. Make sure to properly cite your sources, um, the use of research in the body of the essay, the attribution, the citation counts for more points than it did in your first draft. So that's just something to be aware of. And lastly, if you need it, use the Writing Center for extra help. You can, uh, I have a link for you there. Uh, you can click the link or you can contact your advisor to get connected. Uh, we have help there where you can uh, drop your paper off and or send your paper in and get feedback on it. So it might seem like a lot, but I hope it helps. Um, the biggest thing really to kind of keep in the back of your mind is how you're integrating the feedback that you've gotten from me, from your peers, from other people, because that's what you're going to be reflecting on next week. Um, but this is the, the big push, the big final project. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, everyone.